and welcome back to my channel. My name is BJ and my business is called Junked Up. I am bringing you another video originally created for Furniture Painting University back in 2017. What's that? What? You didn't know there were other videos? Of course there are. And they're all down in the playlist called Furniture Painting University. So when you're done with this one, go check out the rest. To purchase any of the paint or products I used in this video, please find your local CC Caldwell paint retailer. I put the link in the description box below. Let's get started. The first thing I did was mixed roughly equal parts of the Thomasville teal and the vintage white in a bowl, which is what I am applying here. Then I took some Carolina Sun Yellow and mixed that in a bowl with the Vintage White and I'm applying that here, just blending that into the blue mixture and creating this lovely green color. Then I layered back in some of my blue mixture. Remember it's Thomasville Teal and Vintage White, roughly equal parts. And then I layered back in some of my yellow color, which is my Carolina Sun Yellow and Vintage White mixed together roughly equal parts. Next I applied Alaska Tundra Green, thinned out with a little bit of water. I'm not looking for full coverage, I want some of that original blue and yellow to show through. Then I let it dry and gave it all a light sanding with some 220 grit sandpaper to smooth everything out. In the bottle and in the bowl, I have Thomasville teal and water mixture. I don't have a ratio, I just mixed it until I got a nice watery consistency. I'm gonna do kind of like a watercolor effect on this and so I'm using a little medicine dropper and my spray bottle to apply the thinned out watery Thomasville teal mixture. I use a damp sea sponge to catch any of the really large drips and just to clean things up a little bit. I'm using the same technique on the side of the buffet using my Thomasville Teal watered down in the syringe and I'm also spraying with some just clear plain water and that really helps to get things moving and really help thin that color out and create like this color wash effect. The top was a little bit more challenging to do. This was a big piece of furniture and I couldn't really turn it on its side to get that dripping effect that I wanted. So I just got creative with it, but really used the same exact technique that I used on the front and the sides. Please stick around to the end of the video and you'll find a full supply list of all of the CC Caldwell products I used on this project. I let everything dry thoroughly and it's time for the finishing. Here I'm using the clear waxing cream. I applied it and then just gently wiped it back. Uh, the top of the buffet was finished in the CC Caldwell Satin Finish, which is a brush-on polyacrylic top coat. The supply list for this project is all CC Caldwell paint in Carolina Sun Yellow, Thomasville Teal, Alaska Tundra Green, Vintage White, Clear Waxing Cream, and Satin Finish. I love the beautiful complexity of this finish and the amazing watercolor effect I was able to get with layered paints and a color wash. Don't ever be afraid to experiment and try new things because you never know how great it's gonna look at the end. Thanks so much for watching, you guys, and I will see you next time. Have a great day.